What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I'm going to talk about a very revolutionary video game developer, Hideo Kojima. He's been in the news a lot for his uh, leaving Konami, for the way that he left Konami, for all the issues between him and Konami. And it's been a really bad thing. Luckily for him and for everybody who loves his games, he started working with Sony now. And uh, I'm looking forward to whatever he's working on. Godspeed. I don't know if he's going to do another Metal Gear type of game. I hope that it's something a little bit different. Usually when a person has kind of honed their craft on something, they kind of drift away and, and start to imagine other things and let their creativity take over. So I'm hoping that's what he does. I don't want to see a rehash of a Metal Gear-esque type of game. I don't want to see another spy. I don't want to see another tactical espionage type of game. Splinter Cell Metal Gear. I want, I want something totally different from him. Uh, I'm led to believe that that's probably what he's going to do because the direction he was going with Silent Hill with Guillermo del Toro. Uh, that would have been an awesome game. The demo is still one of the creepiest things I've played. It, it just really scares the hell out of me. And uh, it, it, it has an atmosphere that's so different from what we're used to. It's kind of, It kind of turned the horror genre on his ear the way that Metal Gear turned the espionage genre on his ear. It's like this guy has a very wild imagination and he has an amazing way of implementing that into a game. And with all that in mind, looking forward to the future of this man, his past has just been commemorated. And uh, Hideo Kojima gets the Hall of Fame honors for the video game industry. And that's the whole industry. He's been recognized as one of the best developers, most innovative developers, and amazing minds in video game development. I'll drop a link in the description. Hideo Kojima, creator of the Metal Gear series games and who recently parted ways with Japanese publisher Konami, was inducted into the Hall of Fame at the DICE Awards, the equivalent of the Oscars for video games. In a recent event at the DICE Summit at Las Vegas, Kojima was honored by his peers at the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. Kojima finished his work on Metal Gear Solid 5 and left Konami to create a new startup, Kojima Productions, which is making a game for Sony, which of course is going to be awesome. Quote, Hideo Kojima has been the standard bearer for the very best that video game development has to offer. There is nothing in his stories that he does not love and feel strongly apart. He believes as I do that we must cherish this medium, end quote, said Guillermo del Toro, the filmmaker who presented the award to Kojima. He added, quote, Kojima-san is also an awesome pal and is great to hang out with, end quote. Kojima has been making games for almost 30 years. In college, he studied economics, but he fell in love with games. He took over the Metal Gear series in 1987, and the game had instant acclaim. Mark Cerny, a veteran game creator and architect of Sony's PlayStation 4, said in a video, quote, as a game designer, you can get a lot of inspiration from what Kojima is doing, end quote. This guy is a revolutionary. And the crazy thing is this, I think that we haven't even seen his best work. Judging by the way that the relationship between Kojima and Konami looked, I'm starting to believe that he was probably stopped in a lot of his ideas. That company seems like they kind of rule with an iron fist, and more than likely they halted budget and restrained him in a lot of ways because of the way that they act as a company. And so at least working with Sony, and working with people that he respects, and, and his peers, he may be able to create something even more awesome. I mean, the guy's been doing it for 30 years. He uh, got his hands on the Metal Gear series when I was seven. That really makes me understand how long this guy has been working hard and making incredible games. I'm really happy to hear that his peers actually had an opportunity to acknowledge his accomplishments and achievements. This guy is an incredible developer, and honestly, I'm looking forward to whatever he does next. You guys let me know in the comment section below. What do you see Hideo Kojima doing next? Is it going to be a Silent Hill type of game? Is he going to go back to the tactical espionage? Or is he going to do something totally different? Let me know what you'd like to see him do in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. Share the video on your favorite social media sites. And definitely subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Take off.